Hello guys, good evening, good evening and welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you've been enjoying your holiday seasons still in Puerto Rico. As I said, Puerto Rico has the longest Christmas in the world, Christmas season in the world. So we still have festivities coming up this next weekend. And then the weekend after that also. So yes, uh, still for those who are in the island, well, keep on enjoying. And for those uh, anywhere in the world, when you're watching, where you're watching me tonight, I hope you have enjoyed, okay? If you, whatever you celebrate during this season, okay? So tonight I announced that I was gonna be speaking about what does being our true selves truly mean? What does it mean when people tell us we need to become more of who we truly are? Our authentic selves, right? And let me tell you that this speaks about the difference there is between the physical identity that we as incarnated beings all have, right? And our soul or our spiritual energetic selves because uh, uh, our spirit and our soul are made of energy, okay? So, as strange or perhaps contradicting as it sounds, happens to be that the you who you know yourself to be might not be who you really are. Ding, ding. Okay? And I'm sure that at some point of your life journey, You've heard someone mention that he's trying to find himself and perhaps you've asked yourself how can we lose ourselves, right? What do people mean when they are speaking about this? Uh, how can we lose ourselves? And this dilemma and confusion stems from where all human confusion comes from and it is from not truly knowing the true nature of what we are, okay? Uh, mankind gets to live and experience every single day <clears throat> in the face of results, results. <clears throat> so we are accustomed to believing that our results are our reality and our place of origin. Our results, think about that. <clears throat> our results are, are our place of origin. For example, if I ask you who you are, you're going to tell me, well, my name is, you're going to use your name. <clears throat> Perhaps you can say the day you were born and where you were born and your parents, right? Who are my parents? And my gender, I would say my gender and the role that that carries. For example, I am a mom, I am a woman and I am a mom. And then we use also the races, I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, our culture also, right, speaks about our culture and uh, we can also, we get influenced by who, uh, where, what society, society, right, community, our ideologies, our beliefs, our convictions, etc. All of these things we use to make up our identity and these only make up our current experience. But we're unaware that who we truly are is far, far larger and more than just this one single current experience. And I'll explain that 
everything as we know in the universe started as light energy that divided into fractals, into particles of that one single light. And I'm not the only one that says this, okay? <laughs> Both the Bible and science have confirmed this. Okay, so I am going to say that this divine raw material is pure source light spirit. Because spirit means breath of life. So it's filled with life. Okay, this energy. What many of us have called God and whom we are not able to to see with the naked eye, although it is everywhere and within everything because of its energetic and quantum nature. It's very, very small, extremely small. This source light carries the power and the AI, the authentic intelligence of creation or life. So it's the bearer of life. No one must instruct it about how to create matter. It knows how to do it. And you know that atoms know what to bond with to create all physical matter without nobody telling it. Without no one commanding it, right? So... As humans, our true nature and selves and our primary bodies then are of an energetic nature, which it's called, which we call soul. Okay, soul, we are souls. Because energy cannot be destroyed, only transformed, our true nature, our soul, endlessly empowers us to manifest ourselves into physical matter as the person that we embody today. In my case, Vanessa Vega, okay? This all becomes very attached or entangled. These are words, scientific words, right? Energetic words, entanglement or entangled to the avatar or to the identity we are embodying and really believes this is who he is. When truly this avatar is the experience the soul is living. Our soul came with an agenda of growth and expansion because energy is always in constant needs to grow is in const constantly growing and expanding okay <clears throat> so we came with this agenda of growth and expansion that this specific avatar or experience is going to provide him with so Back to our initial question. In becoming more of who we truly are, we are aligning more to that which our prevailing soul came to accomplish, therefore making us more authentic to whom at our core we are. We've lived copying and pasting external beliefs, convictions, behaviors, attitudes, right? From the avatars, from the many avatars and identities who we've been surrounded with and also attached to, emotionally attached to. And we've built our own belief of who we are based on all that. We've made life about the experiences or identities the soul chose to have instead of making it about the soul's purpose and real reasons 
for incarnation. The great awakening that has been going on in the world is many people becoming aware of what and who they truly are, knowing that they are divine lights and becoming more aligned and attuned with the mission and purposes that the soul chose to accomplish for this current lifetime. As a result of my personal experiences, studies, and research, I've come to 100% confirm that the foundation of happiness, wellness, well-being of all humans is when we align with our soul's purposes or evolutive path. So it's when we surrender and accept and embrace those lessons and experiences. And we get to balance, transmute to higher frequencies and heal and release the emotional impressions these experiences cost on us that we are truly, truly get allowing right our souls to expand to grow and to accomplish its mission okay so getting to know ourselves and becoming your true selves speaks about getting to know your soul and the underlying and real reasons for incarnating as the identity you are carrying as of today right now in my case as Vanessa Vega I'll say that every time you confront adversity in your life it is because you are not getting something about that soul's path that you need to address and learn about and address and transmute it change it and better it okay because you've not you haven't got the lesson yet okay that's basically what it's telling you so you need to pay attention in your life where are those places that you're not happy with still that you're not getting the results you want to see okay so the more chaos or entropy in your life, the farther away from this soul's evolutive path you are. Many, many people ask me about if there are and which are the best ways to find out these soul purposes and missions. And that's what I do. I help people identify those lessons and those blockages they haven't been able to identify in their life and align better. And the reason why I do that is because I, in my studies, have found that the farther away you are from that alignment with that soul's path, The more entropy, the more chaos, the more crisis, the more health problems in your life. And on the contrary, I've also found that the more aligned we are with that, that is where the fountain of happiness, of wellness, of well-being lies for humans, for all humans, okay? So the answer is yes, there are ways we can find out and I'll be addressing those next week here, okay? In the Mingos of Evil Life, how can we get to know if we haven't been able to identify those soul purposes, okay? How can we, tools that we can use to identify them, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you for staying with me tonight please share please like 
so that many, many people can benefit from this information. I really am thankful for all your support in helping me growing this community, okay? And spreading and teaching people about our true nature and our true selves. Uh, go watch our channel also, or, uh, subscribe to our channel, to our YouTube channel, so that we can keep on growing together, okay, this community. Love you, sending you as always love and light, and I'm going to be addressing this topic next week here, so I'll, I'll stay tuned, and please uh, join me next week here in Domingos, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you so much.